Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 11.6, unit cubes and solid figures. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's objective is to understand unit cubes and how they can be used to build a solid figure. Please pause again to write the objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders, today's lesson begins our jump into volume. Volume is found by using the length and the width and the height of a unit cube like you see here on the right. This is called a unit cube. And a unit cube has a front, a side, and a height. So we call that length and width and height. Let's go ahead and read the investigate to continue. It says, you can build rectangular prisms using unit cubes. How many rectangular prisms can you build with a given number of unit cubes? So for today's lesson, we are going to think about this cube here and how many different ways I can take those cubes and make a different shape. So a unit cube is a cube that has length and width and height. If we think about how many surfaces are on the outside, I would have one, two, three, that I can see, but think I also have a bottom, four, five on the back side, and six. Just like a dice, a cube has six faces. And all of its faces are congruent because it is a cube. So all of the sides are made of squares, and squares are congruent. It has, if we think about the edges, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and on the back side, 10, 11, 12, 12 edges. And the lengths are also all equal. In order to build a rectangular prism, we would need to take more than one unit cube and put it together. So it says build a rectangular prism with two unit cubes. Well, if I have two unit cubes together, then I would have the same amount of faces because it would be like I had, here I'm gonna draw, here's my unit cube and here's one right next to it. So I have these two that are next to each other, but <coughs> all of this is still one face. So I have six faces, but I still have 12 edges. Now let's think about how many different ways I could make a, a rectangular prism with eight cubes. Well, I could put eight all in a row and have an eight by one by one. So that would be my eight cubes all lined up in a row, like this. I could also have, let's say I put four, so I could have a little bit shorter, four. But then I would need to have two deep. So I could have a four, by two by one because it's only one tall still. Remember that this is length and width and height. I could also do two in a row next to each other and have two back this way and have it be two layers tall because that would be four on each layer and so that would be eight. So I could have a two by two by two. So with eight unit cubes, I could build three different rectangular prisms. Great job so far. Let's keep going. In the next part of our lesson, we have some conclusions to draw. It says, explain why a rectangular prism composed of two unit cubes has six faces. So this is the one I, I drew on the previous page. I'm going to draw it again. If I had one unit cube, it looked look like this. But if I stuck that unit cube next to another unit cube, now I would have two next to each other. But let's think about the faces. This is all one face. This is all one face. The bottom would be a face. The back side would be a face. And then I have one on this end and one on that end. So why, when I put two cubes together, do I still have the same number of faces? Well, you can see this space here in the middle, what well, would be the side, is now stuck to the side of the new one, 
So that means that I didn't add any new faces because those ones aren't exposed. So one side of a unit cube is completely covered. Let's write that. One side of the unit cube is covered so it doesn't add another face. All right, question number two. Explain how the number of edges for the rectangular prism compares to the number of edges for a unit cube. Well, we counted on a unit cube, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and on the back side, 10, 11, and 12. And I know that's hard to see, but in class, we'll actually have unit cubes out and we'll count them. But if I stick two next to each other, I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and on the back side, even though there's spaces in here, they're not edges because they touch. So they would have the same number of edges. Okay, describe all the rectangular prisms that you made in step B. Well, we made three rectangular prisms And they each had different dimensions. Great job, fifth graders. Let's keep going. All right, fifth graders, time for the lesson activity. It says, make connections. You can build a solid figure and compare the solid figures by counting the unit cubes in a solid figure. So let's look at the first unit, the first figure. It says, if we count, we have one, two, three, four, five, six unit cubes. So figure one is made up of six unit cubes. And then if we look at the shape on the right, figure two, we have one, two, three, four, five unit cubes. So that means that we can compare them. If we look at this last sentence, figure one has more unit cubes than figure two. And your job in your math notebook or at the bottom of this page where you have a little bit of space, I want you to write why. And not just count them why, but it looks like figure two takes up more space. So why does figure one have more cubes? I want you to write a complete sentence explaining why it has more cubes and how you can figure that out. Great job with volume, fifth graders. See you tomorrow.